The story of the film begins with a real horror case that happened in the United States. A chimpanzee in the show suddenly went crazy and smashed the face of the actress on the set. The poor little boy witnessed the whole thing under the table. However, the chimp saw him at that moment. Time to 2022. The horses at a horse farm in California seem to be disturbed by something and are pacing back and forth. The ranch is run by OJ and his father. The family has been training horses for generations. Due to the recent decline in business at the ranch, both father and son were very depressed. As soon as OJ and his father finished talking, they turned around. There was a boom in the sky. Then something suddenly fell from the sky. Then it hit the railing and made a metal clang sound. OJ turned to call his father, but found that he was silent with his head down. Then he fell off his horse. OJ's father died in this strange way. The cause of his death was a coin that fell from the air and smashed through his eye, causing him to bleed to death. OJ looked at the coin and couldn't figure it out. What's more outrageous is, there was a strange key stuck in the horse's ass. After the death of his father, OJ and his sister Emerald took over his father's job. They brought the horses to the film studio to participate in the shooting. But one of the crew took out a mirror despite OJ's warnings, causing the horses to get spooked. OJ thus missed the opportunity to make money from the movie. In order to maintain the family expenses, the two of them had to resolve to come to the town's amusement park to sell the horses. However, Rike, the owner of the place, was the kid who witnessed the chimpanzee hurting people. After the accident was exposed, he unexpectedly found that the ratings of the show became very high. So he has a first and experience of that incident, in order to traffic in his amusement park, to repeat the horror of the accident, and made a lot of money. He said he wanted to buy the whole horse farm. OJ and Emerald were torn, after all. The horse farm is their ancestral property. OJ doesn't want to let his father's efforts disappear. At night OJ comes to talk to the horse. The horse looked at the sky in the distance and seemed to have found something. The horse suddenly jumps out of the ring and runs away when he's not looking. OJ drove after the horse but found that the horse had disappeared. But he heard a strange roaring sound in the air. Something was looming in the clouds. Suddenly he saw a flying saucer floating through the clouds at the same time. The power at home suddenly went out briefly. OJ comes back and checks the video in front of the horse farm, but finds nothing. Emerald asked him what he had seen. He said it was big and flying fast and not a plane. At that moment, they both realized that there might be an alien in the town. A new way to make money was born. They bought a set of professional surveillance equipment and installed it around the house. They wanted to capture the evidence of the UFO and sell it at a high price. To bring out the flying saucer, Emerald went to the market and bought a fake horse. Unfortunately, Ricky saw this scene. They were afraid that Ricky would steal their business after learning the truth. So they made an excuse to let him leave. At night, they put the fake horse in the horse pen. OJ found that the warehouse lights had been turned on for some reason. He came to check the place and was about to leave. There was a noise behind him. OJ took a good look. OJ was terrified and wanted to get out. But in the end, Money prevailed over reason. He pulls out his phone and tries to get a picture of something. Suddenly there was something dangling to his right. It turned out to be just a bunch of naughty kids pretending to be aliens. That's when the power went out in the town. OJ went to the horse corral to check on the horses. But the horses suddenly ran off like crazy again. Emerald was staring at the camera. Suddenly a praying mantis came up and blocked the view of the camera. She was startled. She was ready to go out and chase the mantis away. But as soon as she left the house, she realized something was wrong. There was something in the sky. A UFO was hiding in the clouds. She shouted to her brother to run. The UFO swallowed the horses and wasn't satisfied. It was looking at OJ on the ground. Luckily, he quickly ducked into the shed and escaped death. At that moment, they found that all the electrical appliances around them had lost power. Only the camera was still working. Emerald climbed on the roof of the house to get rid of the praying mantis that was in the way in order to successfully capture the flame saucer, but it did not work. OJ, who was hiding in the shed, watched the horses being sucked away by the UFO. Then the UFO quickly left the place. The praying mantis on the camera would only leave at this point. They were frustrated because they hadn't captured anything. So they called a director who was good at making documentaries and wanted to give him a chance to make a name for himself. But Emerald hung up before he could finish his sentence. That's when the employee who installed the camera for them two days before came in. It turns out that he had accidentally discovered the secret of the UFO through remote monitoring. 
he pulled up the footage the camera had just captured. OJ noticed that there was a cloud in the sky that never moved. This immediately aroused their suspicion. They both speculated whether there was an alien spacecraft inside the cloud. But OJ said it might not be a spaceship. Then he thought of Riki, the owner of the amusement park, and decided to go to him for a discussion. The guy was performing a show to summon aliens, but attracted the real aliens. A flying saucer looms in the clouds. He immediately realized that this is a good opportunity and pretended to introduce the aliens to everyone. Suddenly an unsettling wind blew towards the stage. The sight in front of him immediately stunned the guy. The next second, all the audience was swallowed by the monster. There was a violent scream from here. That's when OJ came to the amusement park and found it empty. A pig even ran up to the roof. The floor was a mess. All he heard was the radio playing commercials over and over. OJ went to the back of the viewing platform and found his horse locked in a cage. OJ tried to get him out, but the next moment, a giant flying saucer came out of the clouds. OJ woke up and found that he was still lying in the same place. The horse was not sucked away either. He immediately told Emerald what he had found. The thing ate people and was a living, territorial animal of some kind. As soon as he finished speaking, Emerald heard a strange sound. She slowly looked out the window. It turns out that the creature is on top of the house right now. He was pouring the garbage from his stomach downwards. They both hit under the table and didn't dare to leave the room. Blood mixed with rainwater slid outside the window and colored the whole house. OJ was on his way home when he discovered that his car had broken down. Coincidentally, he ran into the monster again. He waited for a while when the sound had completely disappeared. OJ thought the monster should be far away, but as soon as he opened the car door, the monster was still up there. Until early the next morning, OJ rushed to repair the car to pick up Emerald, but it didn't get far from the car before he found that the thing was back. Just as the two of them were about to be swallowed up, at that moment OJ remembered that the horse would go crazy when it saw its own eyes. So he chose to keep his head down and not look at the monster. Fortunately, it worked. The flying saucer didn't see him either. A few people rushed to the car to escape from the place to stay in a hotel. In the evening, what happened in the amusement park made the news. The documentary director saw the news and realized that the girl was telling the truth. So he drove to the town the next day and called OJ and his team to cooperate in filming UFOs. What they know now is, the monster only absorbs living things, and that it would show itself when it was hungry. So OJ wanted to use a horse's bait to lure the monster out. When the monster opened its mouth to eat, then the director will film its appearance. After they finished, they immediately started the preparation work. The director took out his invention of hand crank camera so that he did not have to worry about power failure. Emerald found some colorful inflatable figures to lure the flying saucer. Everyone wanted to capture it before the secret was revealed so as to make a fortune. Once everything is ready, the plan to lure the flying saucer began. But unfortunately, OJ just rode out. A paparazzo reporter barged in. Emerald goes to talk him down, but to no avail. At that moment, the voice of his teammates came over the intercom, indicating that the monster was coming. The man refused to listen to the woman's advice and insisted on embarking on this row of death. And as expected, an accident happened. The flying saucer is about to come. OJ felt that he had to save the man first, so he ignored the advice of his teammates and rushed to save him. He said you quickly close your eyes, but the motorcycle man said, what eyes closed are where did my camera go? You quickly help me find the camera. It is very expensive. OJ said then you take care of yourself. Then the motorcycle man just lost his breath. The director seized the time to shoot, but his camera caught a little shadow of the flying saucer. After the flying saucer ate the motorcycle man and then stared at OJ, he rushed to avoid eye contact, but the flying saucer is still getting closer and closer to him. Good thing it was attracted by the doll on the ground. After eating the doll, the saucer saw a pair of green eyes in front of him looking at himself. So the saucer came with a crash and set off a cloud of yellow sand just when OJ was about to be eaten by it. OJ released a colorful flag at the critical moment to scare the monster. The monster could not walk steadily. OJ took advantage of the opportunity to hide in a small hut and survived. OJ asked the director if he had filmed the flying saucer. The director did not say anything because he found the sun came out. So he immediately packed his things and prepared to go to the top of the mountain to shoot a perfect shot. The flying saucer felt that he was really not afraid of death, so it directly swallowed him. Finally, the director was successful in shooting the shot, but it could only stay in the stomach of the monster 
to enjoy this masterpiece. After the saucer ate, the director again focused on the ground repairman. Suddenly, the one rolled up a blue cloth to cover him up, so the flying saucer found Emerald in the distance again. Emerald rushed into the room. Then the monster directly rolled away the ceiling. Emerald was also thrown out. At that moment, the repairman woke up. Fly felt that the repairman still dared to look at it and then flew back. However, the repairman was tangled in a ball of wire and could not be torn off. The saucer went down and found a little blue man seducing it. It immediately sucked the little man in with the repairman, but the next second, it spit out the little man again because it was stabbed in the mouth by the barbed wire. At that moment, the flying saucer started to change. It decided to go after the girl first. Emerald ran to the motorcycle, but she could not start the motorcycle. The little man was still dancing with the wind. The monster was about to come for Emerald. At that moment, OJ came out on his horse and stared at him fiercely. As Emerald closed her eyes, the monster also changed its target. OJ didn't even blink his eyes to buy time for Emerald. His actions panicked the monster. The reporter flying saucer opened a big green mouth. Emerald managed to start the motorcycle and rode it towards the amusement park. The monster followed her closely. As she crossed the fairgrounds, she suddenly thought of an idea. She untied the rope to release the biggest inflatable doll in the amusement park. The monster thought it must be delicious, so the monster opens its mouth and swallows the doll. Emerald activates the amusement park camera, and in the moment, the monster swallowed the doll to take a picture of its true face. And the monster really could not digest such a big thing. The air pressure directly burst its body. The monster turned into a cloud of mist. At that moment, Emerald looked at a figure in the distance. So OJ was not swallowed by the ship. Let's take a look at the photos on the ground. This is also a happy ending. Right, this is the end of the movie. This movie is the third film of Get Out director Jordan Peele. It is narrated in the usual suspenseful style. The film also contains multiple metaphors for the audience to explore. The film is not as outstanding as the director's first two films, but overall it's worth watching.